This video is going to be about a physics problem. Uh, and the problem is a 60 kilogram hockey player sliding eastward at 5 meters per second collides with a 100 kilogram hockey player going southward at 4 meters per second. And there's a third player whose velocity is not given. Uh, the skates on all three become entangled. They remained perfectly at rest after the collision, so they crash into each other. And all of them stop completely at the point of collision. You need to find the velocity, magnitude, and direction of the third player. First thing I want to do is to find some terms. First, F is force, and that's defined as newtons. And a newton is a kilogram meter second squared, because force is equal to mass times acceleration. Mass we're going to use. So next one in kilograms, velocity meter per second. Acceleration is meter per second squared. So since force is mass times acceleration, it's mass kilogram times acceleration meters per second squared. We also have to use two um, less common terms. P is momentum, and momentum is defined in kilograms times meters per second, or mass times velocity. And J or impulse, or J or imp, is impulse defined as newton seconds or newton times seconds. So that is uh, just some terms. And the next thing we're going to do is look at some equations. Momentum is mass times velocity. So with both of the initial skaters, we have their mass, we have a velocity, so we can calculate momentum. And then we're also going to use F is equal to MA, which I talked about. Now, force, impulse, and momentum are all vectors. They have a magnitude and a direction. The only way to change momentum, which is magnitude and direction, is to apply an impulse or an impulse force. And remember, the impulse is newtons per second, or newtons time second, which is a force over time. So if all three objects collide and all stop at the point of collision, Really, all you have to do is add all the momentum vectors together to get zero because the impulses that they apply on everyone, since their momentum goes from whatever it is to zero, their entire momentum is converted to impulse. So the easy way to look at this is just add up all of the vectors. And when you add all of the vectors, uh, you should get zero because nobody's moving at the end. Uh, momentum vector is 60 times 5, which, if I were to write that, would be 300. And that is 300 kilogram meters per second, or newton seconds. And the skater going southward is 100 kilograms times 4 meters per second, or 400 kilogram meters per second. What we need to add in here is a third vector that brings it back to zero. So this vector, we need to find out the direction and the magnitude of this vector. So uh, what I'm going to do is rearrange these a little bit. And since all of the vectors added together uh, have to be zero, let's look at just, uh, I'm going to erase the magnitudes. We can put those back in in a second. So this vector has to equal and be the opposite of these two. So I didn't actually draw it very accurately because this vector has to look something like that. Now this is not to scale. So if I were to draw, remember this is 400. This side is 300. So to find our third side, which is going to be 500, but let's see how we do that with the calculator. We would take 400 squared plus 300 squared. And that is going to equal the last side squared Pythagorean's theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So 400 squared plus 300 squared has to equal 500 squared. What we'll do is we'll just take the square root of the answer. I get 500. So this is 500 and it is 
newton seconds because that is um, the impulse that has to be applied to stop these two. So if that impulse has to be applied, the impulse is being supplied by a player who is traveling in this direction. Uh, and you have to know the mass to calculate the velocity, but the mass times velocity will be 500. So if the player weighed, let's do a little table here. Do weight and speed. If the player weighed 100 kilograms, it would be 500 divided by 100. So it would be 5 meters per second. And if the player weighed 50 kilograms, it would be 10 meters per second. Uh, so you could go through and calculate that. If you knew the weight, you could get the speed. The question is, what is this angle? So to calculate that angle, since this is a right angle, we can do inverse tangent of 400 over 300 of 4 over 3. So we'll do inverse tangent of 4 divided by 3. And because 400 is bigger than 300, we should get an angle greater than 45 degrees. And we get an angle of 0.92. That means we're in radians. So let's go back up here to mode and go from radians to degrees. Now that we're in degrees, we should just be able to hit enter. And it's 53 degrees. So the direction is 53 degrees north of west. So I'll put that over here. Direction is 53 degrees north of west. And the magnitude is 500 newton seconds or 500 kilogram meters per second. So that would be your answer. If you did not know the weight, you would have to show momentum um, rather than velocity. Because the only way to calculate velocity is to know the mass because the information given uh, uses all momentum. Momentum requires impulse. And that should be um, the answer to your question.